Hey guys, Pete over here on this beautiful gloomy day. The reason I say uh, beautiful because it's finally like 42 degrees. So it feels really, really good actually because we've been having this crappy weather for the last few weeks, you know, very cold. But um, as you probably read the title, eBay experiment. Yes, and let me, uh, let me give you the details what I'm planning to do and see if you guys want to follow along and see uh, if we can accomplish this. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. So as you can uh, see right behind me, I'm standing in front of the Goodwill. And here's my idea what's going to happen within the next 12 months on this experiment. So about a year ago, I opened up a store. Well, not a store. Uh, it's not even a store yet, but uh, I open up a new eBay account under the name Craigslist Hunter. Um, but I've been so busy last year that this project got put on hold, building my house and doing other things. So, uh, beginning of this year, I decided I'm going to proceed with this uh, project. And what it is, I want to sell strictly in this store from the scratch. This store has zero activity, it's not top rated. Uh, well, it does have a little bit of activity now because I started at the beginning of the year, I think on the 5th or the 6th of January. Um, gonna be selling only electronics, vintage electronics, newer stuff, but only in that one niche of, of electronics. Um, the goal is to build up a store from the scratch the goal is to have a sell-through rate of about 50% and average selling price between $40 to $50. Um, this is the third Sunday of this month that I'm drifting. Uh, this is going to be a part-time gig. As you guys know, I'm super busy overall running my shop, you know, business. I already work quite a bit of hours, but I want to dedicate about 12, 12 to 14 hours a week uh, on this project meaning drifting only on Sundays for about five to six hours I've been out today already for one hour it's about 11 o'clock now this is a second stop I made um, picking up things only on Sunday for about five to six hours and then dedicating about five five to six hours listing stuff um, Every day I want to list at least two items. I want to list about 60 items a month um, with the sell-through rate, like I said, about 50%. So that means I got a source on Sunday for about five to six hours and roughly find about 15 items or so. Um, so then later on throughout the week, I can test them, clean them, list them. Um, I would like to list every single day at least one or two items. Um, so that will give me that average of about 60 items listed a month. That's the project. Uh, the main goal is to probably achieve anywhere between 15 to $18,000 this year. Um, doing this part-time, like I said, about 12 hours a week. And I want to take you guys on a journey, see if I can build this store from the scratch. Uh, the store is not top rated. Um, has hardly any feedback on it. When I opened up originally the store about a year ago, I sold a few items on it just to get it going so I can raise the limits on it. Uh, right now I believe I can list up to 1,000 items in that store and up to $10,000 or something like that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, let me show you what I got in the first couple stops. All right, got a few items here. Some of this stuff on this side just came in from that Goodwill. Oh, this is pretty overexposed. You can't see anything. Um, this particular unit right here came from a local drift store that it's next to my house. Normally, I don't go there unless they have a 50% off sale, and today they did, so I stopped by because they're super overpriced. Uh, but what it is, it's a Sony uh, disc players. Uh, super careful on the disc players there's only certain ones that I will pick up um, usually the ones they were made in um, mid 80s to late 80s because they will bring some good money made in Japan 
very nice condition this one they wanted fourteen dollars for it fifty percent off so I paid whatever eight bucks uh, comes with the original remote this unit is the CDP 311 um, this unit believe it or not will bring anywhere between fifty to eighty dollars uh, if it comes with the remote control so I'm happy with that pickup and here we got a few things from a Goodwill uh, first uh, probably late mid 90s to late 90s technology Sansui receiver this is already made in Taiwan so it's not the best um, $6.99 on that one and this is probably $40 to $50 receiver uh, comes with original antenna in the back which is good uh, tested powers on that's all I did as far as testing another unit Denon $14.99 very clean um, very nice unit it's designed for uh, for gaming as well it's got a lot of different settings you can plug in your console into it uh, a lot of different options once again probably 45 to 65 dollar receiver this one does not have a remote control here we got interesting item it's not a brick brick people like to call them a bricks original audio box um, a cell phone that you would have it in your car plugged in these could be all over the place $4.99 um, it's all the wiring plug-in for the car adapter all that good stuff so I couldn't pass on on it for $4.99 I don't know what this could bring um, sometimes they'll bring you know $100, $150 sometimes they'll bring $40, $50 bucks. so kind of a gamble but for $4.99 We'll see what happens. And here, a little bit cheaper items. Brand new sealed. These are the thermometers, gauges that you can, you know, use it on your grill. Brand new sealed. I got two of them. Two of these for uh, three ninety nine. Uh, probably fifteen to twenty dollar items. So. Let's keep going. I'm planning to be out today for about six hours and we'll see how much stuff we can pick up today. And also later on today when I get back home I will show you guys my whole setup that I did in my basement in my man cave to process this stuff. None of this stuff is gonna go to my shop. This is strictly stuff that I'm doing on my own as a part-time gig to see if it's doable from scratch. So I'll show you my lighting setup. Um, my testing station, my packing station, my storage area. Um, so that's coming up at the end of the video. Right now, let's keep going and, uh, and look for more stuff. All right, guys, another Goodwill. You're probably gonna have a question, uh, Pete, where are gonna be your main sources? Where are you gonna be sourcing? Well, it's gonna be thrift, stars, thrift stores, like Goodwill and some local shops. Um, when the season starts, definitely garage sales estate sales uh, matter of fact I was driving in here and I just passed a estate sale so as soon as I'm done with here I'm gonna turn around go hit that estate sale here see see what's going on there but that's the main uh, place of sourcing probably in the summertime too a little bit of uh, flea markets as well and uh, and garage sales will be huge starting probably in May so uh, looking forward to that so let's go in here see what we can get all right guys this was really quick in and out really nothing here ton of people though i picked up one item let me show you so what i got is, is one cube one bose cube just single speaker cube uh, this is a custom-made 3.99 for this piece when people bought these back in late 80s 90s throughout even 2000s the systems would come with two four six speakers this is the twistable cube um, and they go bad sometimes i mean the speaker will blow and they're looking for one single replacement so it's worth picking these up can't go wrong 399 easy 40 dollar flip right here let me go to that estate sale that i passed on on the way here 
Uh, here we are, looks like last day. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. It says 50% off sign. And uh, Taco Stacks, where are you? Free scrap over here. Alright guys, not a bad score here, but uh, they were shutting down within the next half an hour, so um, picked up a couple things. CD changer by Technics, mesh edition with the remote control, that's why I mainly grabbed it. If it was without the remote control, I wouldn't. Um, they wanted 45, 50% day off, but I ended up getting it for 15 bucks. That's what I offered and, uh, and they agreed. Um, and then we had two uh, air purifiers by uh, Oric, Oric XL. Um, they have the, the ionizer in them. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but two of them, they wanted $30 each. I offered 10, they sold. Um, definitely need to be cleaned up. They're pretty dirty, dusty. Um, as you can see inside, there's a lot of dust in there. But these will sell pretty good. The market used to be excellent on these. You could you could possibly get 40, 50 bucks on them like a couple years ago. Now they're more down to like 30, 35 if you're willing to wait. So, uh, you know, I was here, I picked them up. Oh, and the CD changer, um, because I have the remote control, I think I can get about 45 to 50 bucks for it. No scratches, not beat up, just needs to be cleaned up. I powered on. Tested remote works everything works on it. So uh, I think that's a actually pretty good score All right, another stop another goodwill and Slim picking again one item so these are litter bookshelf speakers by tech Nothing special But overall very nice quality and people like these uh, tiny bookshelf speakers for offices and stuff, uh, overall very good condition, not beat up, $1.99, couple scratches on the top on a plastic, not a big issue, um, these will go for a good $30, $40 if you're willing to wait, so uh, nice little score for buck ninety nine. Anyway, super foggy, all of a sudden got super warm, it's like 46 degrees, a little misty and foggy. All right, running out of time a little bit here. It's two o'clock right now already. Um, I did stop in one little pawn shop that uh, occasionally they have some stuff. And good thing about pawn shops, especially if you want to pick up like VCR combos and VCRs and tape decks, they don't know a whole lot about them. So they're usually very cheap, you know, five to ten dollars. And most of the time you can negotiate with them. but. This one didn't have anything. I was there probably about three weeks ago, picked up a couple VCRs and they uh, they haven't had any since. So anyway, you guys might want to ask why you're going to concentrate only on, uh, on electronics. Well, two reasons. First, I really, really enjoy picking up, you know, electronics, vintage electronics, any kind of electronics. I just it's just my thing you know there's nothing better than uh, searching for stuff that you actually know quite a bit about so and the second thing is 90% of the time I don't have to even reach for my phone I know what this stuff will sell for I sold so much of it over the years and I dealt with so much electronics over the years that I just know you know what it's worth so that saves me a lot of time trying to pull out my phone every single time to search for stuff so I mean don't get me wrong phone is a great tool but uh, but it just makes it so much quicker when you grab something and you know right away okay this is worth 20 bucks this is 50 this is a hundred you know I mean roughly you know plus minus few bucks but uh, all right approaching my uh, next store should be there any minute um, I still want to hit three more stores, so and it's two o'clock already. So one really bad thing drifting on uh, Sunday is that you have million people. This is one of the newer Goodwills, one of the biggest one in the area, probably one one of the farthest from my house. Um, 
and it's a zillion people there's no room to park it's just crazy they got a parking behind the store as well there's got to be at least a couple hundred people in here just crazy but anyway i got one item so here it is it's a sony um, dvd and cd changer five dvd changer 6.99 the reason i picked this one up because it's a dvd changer and it can play cds um, I don't pick up CD changers anymore, hardly ever, unless they have a remote control because the market is flooded on CD changers, but the DVD, uh, different story. So this is probably uh, 40 to 50 bucks right there. Alright guys, another stop. Can you see how foggy it is? You can barely see this Goodwill. I'm only 50 feet away. Uh, another stop, another unit. Another Pioneer Elite DVD player, uh, $6.99 for this guy. And I know you guys are gonna say, what is this guy doing picking up all these DVD players? There's no money in it. Once again, you gotta understand your market. You gotta understand which unit will sell for good money, which will not. Uh, most of DVD players will bring nothing. But there's certain companies with certain brand, I mean, uh, certain models that will actually bring pretty good money this particular unit should bring anywhere between 40 to 50 bucks if i would have had a remote control that would be beautiful but i don't it's in very good condition just needs a clean up uh for 6.99 can't go wrong all right one more stop guys i'm running out of time it's about 3:15 now um this one is going to be right by my house so heading home now all right guys so this was the last stop it's about 345 now and i picked up a couple more items um it's got this neat neat a scanner you can scan credit cards receipts documents uh very good condition the only problem i have with this is that it doesn't have a power cord so i couldn't even turn it on but for five bucks it does have a usb cable but no power cord it takes a tricky power cord 24 volt um look one up on ebay i can get one for like eight bucks but i took a chance on it because this unit will sell all day long between 60 to 100 used so very expensive and they sell all the time um, and then i got a little remote control brand new sealed still in the original package little rip here but it's original package it's a jvc remote control for uh for a boom box 99 cents used one sell 10 to 12 new one i can probably get 15 to 20 bucks out of it so i grabbed it for a buck so that's it uh that's it for now i'm gonna head home unload everything and i'm gonna show you guys what's going on in my man cave all right guys i'm back home Everything is unloaded. We are right now standing in my unfinished basement. Um, and here we go to the area that it's now designated as my man cave and also eBay processing room. So let me show you around. This area is about 400 square feet. Uh, so if you can imagine like a standard uh, standard garage would be roughly what 20 by 20 that's 400 square feet and this is equivalent of 400 square feet uh, this back area right here this is the area that it's kind of my main cave uh, some of my equipment that i use vintage uh, electronics some of my lps stuff that i collect um, this is actually a desk when when i do the show with uh, chad and ronnie this is where i sit this is a webcam and you guys most of the time see that background in the back nice display wall of some vintage electronics that i constantly look for and then on this side this is where the new magic happens uh, so this is my prepping area um, for basically cleaning testing equipment and packing on this side i have a little table um, that i shoot all the pictures on with a uh, couple led lights on top uh, these are actually very cheap led lights uh, that you can pick up at home depot 
Um, matter of fact, hold on, I got a box here still somewhere. Yep. Um, these are bright white, so that gives you that natural light. These are 1000 lumens. Uh, and I think these are like $16.99 at Home Depot. I think I might add one more light up here to have more light coming straight down. But as it is right now, two of these lights, they're hanging up here. One here, one here. Give just enough light for beautiful pictures. Look at the presentation right there. This is where I take pictures on this table, which is a pretty cool table. It's an old Singer machine. And only the bottom part is what's left from the Singer machine. And it's got a nice top. And I got a concrete, just the raw concrete behind it. The pictures come out spectacular. You can go and look at my store. Um, on the side here, these are some of the remote controls that are listed. Up there, I got a blank new media that I add to my VCRs or cameras or tape decks, whatever it might be with a bunch of spare video and audio cables. On this side, it's equipment that it's already tested, but not yet cleaned. It will be ready for processing and taking pictures. Here are some spare remote controls. Uh, some of them will be listed. Some of them actually I'm holding on to when equipment like I picked up today, for example, this is all the stuff that I picked up today. It's sitting over there. Um, one of them, one of them, if you guys remember, was uh, like a DVD five uh, DVD five changer CD DVD combo thing. Uh, and I bet you I have I have a remote for it. Sony AV system video. There we go, right here. Uh, Sony uh, DVD. So I'm sure I can pair that with that unit and um, that's going to add uh, quite a bit of value to the unit. And this thing is like in mint condition too. So anyway, um, one of the units, I just packed a VCR that it's going out tomorrow, sold for 35 bucks. That was a Panasonic, which I have one more right here on top. This Panasonic sold. Uh, $4.99 at home, home uh, Goodwill. This this pile right here has to be still tested. This is the pile that I picked up everything today. Bunch of boxes in the back. Uh, of course, all dumpster dived boxes. Some styrofoam packing material. Really, the only stuff that I will buy is the bubble wrap on a roll for packing the equipment. This stuff right here, this is a rack of stuff that it's currently listed and ready to be uh, shipped out if it sells. Um, a little bit of storage back there that we use it actually storage, but I'm going to add more, uh, more of these shelving units back here. Two more are going to go back there. What else? Got this scale. I'm not too happy with this scale. I bought it because this one had a bigger platform. This is like 12 inches by 12 inches since I do bigger items. But I tell you what, anything that you put under like four ounces, five, four ounces, it doesn't want to pick it up. It kind of sucks. But the nice thing about it is it's operated. It shuts itself off um, after you don't use it for like a minute. So for example, a tape like this. 13 ounces picks it up no problem but anything lighter like this knife is probably I don't know about four ounces look at it there's nothing on a screen I gotta tap it even if I tap it doesn't pick it up so it's it's crap 30 bucks on Amazon smart weight don't recommend it but I what I recommend is getting a small TV if you're doing electronics this one I picked up a long time ago. I think I paid like five bucks at Goodwill a year, maybe even two years ago now. Um, and I have cables all the time hooked up to it for testing video, you know, VCRs or DVD players. And also just audio. If I want to test uh, uh, just a cassette deck, uh, I can easily hook up cassette deck to this. And the TV works as an amplifier. It's a stereo TV. And I don't have to have a big amplifier sitting here on the table to test my decks. So it works very well, uh, very handy. 
good investment. Got a little light here when I'm cleaning or working on equipment. It's actually like a spotlight that I can direct the light and leave it there. Because otherwise I used to hold a flashlight in one hand or put it in my mouth when I was doing something. Now this is so convenient. Yep, three bucks at Goodwill. And you guys might ask Pete, by what, why are you even doing this? You already have one store that you could be selling on. Well, here, here's the thing. I want to do like an experiment starting a brand new store from scratch with no feedback, no top rated status and actually show that it's very doable sticking really to one niche which is electronics which is overall a big niche but maybe, maybe I can inspire some people you know that it's not too late that you don't have to have a huge store um, that it's doable you can get out there and do it in a minute I'm going to show you some numbers from this store this store has been only operating now for uh, two weeks yeah this is the third Sunday that I went out drifting and picking up stuff so um, two weeks of operation I think I got like 30 items uh, we'll check in a second just to inspire some people that this is doable so uh, let's look at the numbers all right so here are the numbers for the store so currently I have 32, uh, 32 active items, 15 items sold for a total of almost 900 bucks, 882. So that's probably what about $60 average, which is very good. That's what I like to be. I did sell one bigger item here was a turntable that sold for 200 some dollars. So that did help. Yeah, so that's roughly what within two weeks I listed about 47 items. Um, out of those 15 sold still 32 active so once again if you are looking to start it's doable the store has been around only for what two weeks got some sales going it's doable plus I just I'm a workaholic I'm sorry I love drifting I love going out I love finding stuff especially vintage electronics all right that's what ticks for me I love testing that stuff cleaning selling the whole nine yards when it comes to electronics so um yeah i hope you guys uh, can follow the journey and we'll see what happens i'm gonna do this for the whole year we'll see what we're gonna end up with after a year you know i'm gonna do updates pretty regularly i'm, I'm thinking once a month at uh, every month that it ends i'm gonna do update video and keep you guys posted how's it going maybe even more often we'll see if i go drifting on sundays that might be something to uh to do like i did today what i pick up um today i picked up exactly 15 items uh, that's kind of the minimum i would like to pick up i know it's not always going to be like that but when we're going to get into a, a spring and finally garage sales are going to start um, I should have no problem finding good things so it's doable I'm excited I hope you guys are excited as well I'm gonna leave a link below uh, to my eBay store if you guys want to go check it out and and follow what I put up there and what sells or not um, I think it's kind of interesting so we'll see what happens thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it if you have any comments and any suggestions for me Please leave them down in, uh, in the comments below. I'll, uh, I read them all. I promise. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Cheers.